Good morning, cultists. In our last episode, we witnessed the death of Wolf's father, Owl, who in his last breaths told us to find the alternate route into the estate because the main path is... Well, it's a blazing inferno. In any case, um, as I was thinking about the alternate route, I realized that we actually skipped a path here. So this is the graveyard area. Um, in between episodes, I've taken these guys out with relatively... Uh, few difficulties, which was surprising. Um, and I think I came here and I saw a dude with a spear and I got a little freaked out, so I backed off, but I would like to ex Ah, there he is. And it seems like he's not actually a mini-boss, so maybe we might be able to take him out. Possibly. Alright, well, let's, uh, hmm... Is he going to come this way? Oh no, he stops. Now, is this a patrol or is he there for good? Like, is he going to set up shop? Like, is he going to build a house in that one sp a specific location? Find a wife or a husband? Birth some babies and, you know, do things that people do once they've settled in a location? Oh no, looks like he's patrolling. Good. So maybe we can take him out. Perfect. Fantastic. And I've leveled up. Awesome. Oh shit. Oh no, is that another Shinobi Hunter? Because we had a lot of difficulty with the last one. Oh no. Oh no, It's maybe it's not a Shinobi Hunter. Just kind of looked like he had the same weapon. Ah, fantastic. Eat that, dick. Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic! Whoa! No, holy shit! <laughs> wow! That was incredible! Bulging coin purse. A purse almost overflowing with sen. It can be used to acquire the sen inside. Hefty enough to bring something resembling a grin to a wolf's face. The sen in this purse is not lost upon death. Fantastic! Holy shit! I did a lot better than I expected. Got some pellets, thank you. And Mibu Balloon of Soul. A Mibu Balloon filled with fountainhead water, imbued with a blessing of James Brown. If one pops the Sakura Pink Balloon and prays, those its water splashes upon will acquire some James Brown Soul and a hankering for cocaine. And also acquire more resurrective power for a time. The oldest of the Mibu Balloons, Mibu Priests are known to pop them as an offering of peace for the departed. Or sorry, of the departed. Fantastic. Well, Papa's got a brand new bag, so uh, let's move on to, I guess, the estate. Is it me or is he? Whoa, whoa, what was that? Is he running a little jankily? Oh, I'll take this. Thank you very much. Sweet. Anything up here? Uh. Oh, wait, I think I know that area. Well. If that's the case, let's just go back. I don't think I need to backtrack, because I think that's the area where we fought the dude with the, um, the Shinobi Hunter guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Now, it is a real shame that I can't seem to just, I don't know. I mean, I understand the need for fall damage, but can I, like, wall slide down there to not die? Yeah. Oh well. That's fine. Okay. Summoners or sculptors idle. Give me some health and let's move on now. Thank you very much. Okay, is there a dude there? Nope, no dude there. Is there a dude there? No dude there. Is there a dude there? There is a dude there and he's noticed me. Shit. Oh, he's an archer too. What an asshole. Alright, sir. I don't think so! Perfect! Sweet. There are a fuck ton of dudes. Shit. A guy with an axe. Uh. As far as I can tell, two archers and two swordsmen. Alright, well, it seems that the guy with the axe is actually coming in pretty close. So maybe we can take care of him and his archer friend before we do anything else. 
Let's go for it. Fantastic. All right, Archer Man. Hold up. Hold up. What are you doing? Atta boy. Oh, shit. Someone else is noticing me. We gotta go. Oh, good grief. Woo! Somehow managed to avoid a bigger tussle, it seems. Uh-oh. How far do those guys come close? Uh, not that close, it seems. Alright, then. How about... We try this. Fantastic. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was close. That was real close. I wonder if I should take him out now, or if I should wait. Yeah, those guys will, I'm sure, travel back this way, right? Okay, so then let's try to take them out then. I don't know if this guy's gonna notice. Alright, let's go for it. Yeah, go for it! Perfect! Archer man, don't you worry, son. You won't get some too. Fantastic. Oh shit. I see more red arrows, meaning that more people are coming in to tussle with me? Fuck. Okay, sword dude, fairly easy to annihilate. Perfect. Oh no, axe man, why? Shit, I'm not interested in your axe body spray. Please stop. Fuck. Uh, can I still tear his butthole asunder? Stealth wise, is that possible at all? What was that? Oh, is he throwing shit at me? What the fuck? What in the seven hells are you throwing at me? Oh shit! I'm wearing blackface. Man, that is inappropriate, man. Look, I know this is what. Uh, what century? 14th century Japan? I have no idea what century the Japan this would be. But, uh, it's still inappropriate to wear, uh, go around wearing blackface, man. You can't do that shit. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Turns out that, uh, surprising him is maybe the way to go. Oh, fuck. Damn it! You hurt me! Asshole. Though... <laughs> he looks like one of those street performers that are like... Completely encased in, uh... Well, not encased, but sprayed down with the, um... Body spray. Or not the body spray, but the, uh... Metallic paint. <laughs> Fantastic. That's actually pretty hilarious. Does it ever go away? Dowsing powder, thank you. Ooh! Too bad I can't wear that armor. You know what? Maybe he's actually reenacting the famous scene from the hit movie Predator, um, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, where he's all, um, you know, dolled up in mud, and he's like, "Kill me! Do it! Kill me now!" Divine confetti, confetti imbued with a divine blessing made for driving away apparitions. The paper is made ceremoniously, whereby pulp is spread thin using water from. The exalted fountainhead. As the gods bless the water, so too will the confetti bless one who basks in its touch, allowing attacks to connect with apparition type enemies. Great! So, are you trying to tell me that when I tussle with ghosts, I have to use this divine confetti? Like, I can't use magical weapons, like in, um, I don't know, Dark uh, Dungeons and Dragons rules? What the hell, man? I don't have to use fucking div uh, divine confetti every time I want to tussle with a ghost. The shit. Can I go this way? Uh, no. Does not appear to be a path that I can take. Can I open up a path or something? Because that'd be nice. Because I know there's the, um, I can even see the blue glow of the, uh, thing there. Except I can't seem to open up a path. Which is kind of a shame. So if I die, and I want to come back this way, then I have to basically... Ah, that's annoying, but oh well. Maybe let's try going this way. See if perhaps there's something we missed. 
Because there doesn't appear to be a way for me to latch onto this area. Yeah, uh... Doesn't seem like there's anything here. So then maybe you have to go into the water. Hey, will the water clean me up? I don't... I can't tell if I'm being cleaned up. Because I would kind of like to get rid of the blackface. I mean, it seems to be cleaning up my pants a little bit, but not really. Wow, you are just... <laughs> This guy does not clean up at all, it turns out, which I guess kind of explains the bird poop on his face. Ceramic shard, thank you. Oh ho ho! What's this? Uh... Oh my god! That is a big, big boy! Okay, so I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Anyone else? What the hell? Uh, I don't know if that's a dude that I need to assess or tussle with or something. Okay, so I'm assuming there is all bad guys. So we should see if we can take out um, dudes individually before we tussle with Big Boy. Uh, I think that location might be the easiest one to start with, considering that he seems to be isolated. All right, sir. We're gonna need you to die now. Oh no! There's another dude. Shit! All right. You're not raising any alarms, bitch. Fantastic. Ha! Oh, good grief. Light coin purse. Thank you. And we got some more oil, which is nice. Hey, can I go there? Oh, there appears to be an item or something over there, which is nice. Oh, I see. I see. This is like an, a, a way to sneak up here. Okay, so I could probably take out the shield guy by himself. Um, but then, of course, I would earn the ire of uh, Big Boy McGee. Now, depending on how quickly he can get up, because it appeared that he was sitting, maybe I can take out some of the other dudes too, but I don't know if I want to risk it. Those guys in the center of the courtyard appear to be maybe a little easier to take care of. So, my focus, I think, should be on them. Now, from here... He is fairly far away. I don't know how much we can... how far we can throw the... Oh! Wow, that almost landed at his feet. So, it seems that we might be able to throw it pretty far, which is nice. But that's a terrible angle, so... Now, second question. Um, how far is he willing to come to investigate the ceramic shard incident of 2019? Because if he's willing to come up these steps, then maybe we can take him out, but... Oh, whoa. It seems that he's really invested in finding out uh, who's... Maybe he's got his investigating shoes on. Maybe that's why. You know what? I don't know if those are regulation investigating shoes. That's definitely not regulation investigating underwear. But... Kudos to you, sir. Alright, so can I attract that guy's attention as well from here? No, I can't even, like, target the fucking guy, which is why my camera's going batshit crazy right now. Okay, um... Now, I know we can kind of perch ourselves on top of this rock. Maybe I can do something from here? No, I can't target him still. Maybe then I can draw his attention like this. Or maybe I'm so well hidden. Oh, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. You can actually see me from that distance. Great. So we'll get him to come investigate, and then once he's close and maybe he turns around, perhaps we'll tear his butthole asunder. And uh, hopefully no one else will be the wiser. So we'll take care of these two dudes, and then maybe I'll do the old sneak attack on... Uh, or maybe if... I guess we can try to get close to see if perhaps we can... Attract the attention of the shield guy? Yeah, because it seems like... Um, now, depending on the aggro range of Big Boy... Might not be... Able to... Uh-oh! Oh shit! Okay, so he's an archer and he's... 
very invested in my death. Which I gotta say is not, not a very attractive uh, trait. Alright, alright. Uh... Oh, is he coming to investigate? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Come this way. Come, butthead. There you go. That's right, boy. That's right. Hmm. I'm really hoping that he comes pretty close, though. Because I think at this distance, I might be able to just do a straight-up tussle with him. Rather than a uh, stealth attack. Yeah, he's almost... He's gone past uh, where his uh, friend died. Perfect. Absolutely fantastic. What the hell was that? <laughs> well, I mean, it worked, so... Uh, no complaints from me so far, I would say. Uh... Oh, shit! Okay, so Big Boy appears to have a much wider aggro range than the uh, small guys. Now, how close can I get... ...before Big Boy starts to freak out? Oh, shit! Not that close, it seems. Oh, fuck. Aw, oh, jeez. Um... I think we may need to do what I had suggested, and that is taking out the uh, shield guy first, and then maybe just booking it? I'm hoping that by me booking it, we can just lose his aggro, possibly? Or maybe I can... Because uh... I think when you use the ceramic shard, it attracts everyone, if I'm not mistaken. Because I can't hug the wall here. Alright, let's go for it. Oh shit! Juzu the Drunkard! Oh god! What the hell? Alright. Okay, we got this guy killed. Fantastic. He appears to be imbibing some kind of liquid. And now he's vomiting all over the place. Which I don't know, again, if is a attractive a trait. Alright, maybe we'll just lose him by booking it? Is that possible at all? Oh no, he has no interest in letting me go. Fuck. Fuck nuts. Yeah, he's uh, he's hitting the bottle again. He's hitting it hard. So I'm thinking maybe we'll back up a little bit more. Is he still after me? Okay, the music's died down, which implies that he's no longer after me. I wonder if we can draw him away and then maybe sneak up on his butt? Okay, let's give that a try. Okay, uh, if we can maybe get close to him, it seems to be working. Oh, joyous day! Look at that! We actually managed to. F okay, let's try that again. We're just gonna cheese this because I don't trust myself to be able to uh, take him out in a fair fight. Besides, we're Shinobi! You know, I, I got better things to do than spend my time. Taking care of some big boy and his uh, weight issues and his alcohol problems more so, I suppose. All right, let's try it again. Oh no, what? His health goes back up? What the shit? So it turns out, oh no, I failed. I failed miserably. Okay, no, nope. no, no, no. We're uh, we're booking it. Though I think it would be best if we get him a little closer first. And then we book it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think this is kind of the threshold here. The water. As far as I can tell. And then once we lose the health bar, it means that he has, in fact, lost interest. Perfect. Okay, so we'll get the sneak attack on him. And then I think we might need to actually tussle with him. Uh, which I'm not looking forward to, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Alright, so shield guy is not currently invested. Uh... Shoot. Oh no, uh... He's drinking stuff? I wonder if maybe... Shit! Oh god, oh god! Oh no! What the hell? Oh shit, is he... Oh no, wait, what? 
Oh shit, is he helping me? That's incredible. Oh wow. Fantastic. Oh no. Oh fuck. Holy shit. Oh shit. Watch out, man. Choose who the drunkard is. Oh shit. Okay. Oh crap. Okay. Nope. Not today, good sir. Not fucking today. Oh, whoa! Holy crap! My heart is beating a mile a minute. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Unrefined sake. Thank God this guy got involved though. A bottle of cloudy unrefined sake. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. This cloudy sake is one of the Ishin Ashina's favorites. It is a rich, full-bodied flavor. On the other hand, is it is it it has a reputation for getting one too drunk too quickly. Ah, uh, we got a third anal bead. Fantastic. Ah, uh, thank you so much for your help. Though you appear to be poisoned. Hey, can I help you before you die? Sir? What is that massive contusion on your forehead, by the way? Oh, that's just her forehead. You're not gonna die, are you? Okay, good. Can I speak to you? Sir, will you not acknowledge me? Is it because I'm wearing blackface? Listen, it's... It wasn't my choice. This happened to me. I, I just woke up like this. It's not my fault. Oh, I know what it is. This guy is in fact a Yaucha. He's a predator. And um, he can't see me because I'm covered in mud or, I guess, oil, which maybe masks thermal imaging? That's what it is. That's what he, he doesn't see anyone in front of him. He thinks I'm just invisible. Perfect. Well, I mean, not really. Kind of wish I could interact with him, but fair enough. All right, shield guy. Let's get the sneak up on him. Perfect! Sweet. And we got all our stuff. Fantastic. Is there anything to explore over here? Because it doesn't seem like it. That place is blocked. That is also blocked. So I guess we just... Let's just carefully make our way across. It'll run into dudes that are willing to I mean I say that but I'm so enraptured by destroying stuff that I just can't help it I have to do this guys I'm sorry it's in my nature oh god no fuck okay okay archer dude has obviously taken notice of me which is not great question Oh, I can't. I thought I could maybe destroy the wall or something to take him out. Sadly, doesn't seem possible. Oh, look! There's a healing thing there. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, fuck. Nope, not today, bitch face. You're dead, son. Fantastic. Whoo, mama! Oh, joyous day. Joyous fucking day. Oh, that felt good. Felt real good. Oh, look! It's the rare Norwegian levitating shattered pottery piece. Found only in ancient feudal Japan. So, those walls, or those doors, I can uh, bust through, yet the other walls I can't, for whatever reason. Hmm. What's this? Uh, me Balloon of Soul. More of James Brown's, uh, bags of cocaine. Are you okay? Oh, 
one of our I saw a dreadful vision. It was pouring out more and more. It wouldn't stop. is deep in the mansion. My son, Inosuke, went to rescue him. So he's probably fine, but... but you never know. The young master might need you, Rogue Shinobi. Go to him, will you? Hey, wait. Remember this lady? She was the one that gave us the, um... the, the, uh, Buddha's left testicle or whatever thing that we used to access this memory. Oh, right. So this was three years ago, so I guess in that time she... Uh... I guess she developed dementia. Yeah. Which is... Sad. It's sad to see anyone uh, getting dementia. I used to volunteer at a uh, senior home. Senior care home. When I was much younger. And uh, I was also always sad to see the uh, families kind of struggling with people who had dementia, because, I mean, the people with dementia didn't know it themselves, but... Anyways, I don't know how we got into that topic. Uh, so we could go for Nightjar Slash, after we get Grappling Hook Attack. Projected Force is unavailable because... what? Oh, I think I need Midair Prosthetic Tool. But I don't think I can actually use it, this at all. Hmm... Which then leaves me wondering if perhaps... If we can get one more skill point, then we can go for Emma's Medicine. Uh, and increase the potency of our healing objects. Which might not be a bad idea, actually. Yeah. Because I would need five points in total to get this. Hmm... Which kind of makes me wonder if perhaps I should spend a little bit of time farming instead? Yeah, I mean... Hmm... Maybe, maybe. I guess it kind of depends on what's up next. Like, if it's a boss fight or something, then... I think, yeah, definitely. Oh, did I not get this? I thought I already got this. Weird. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess I didn't rest. Fine, fine, I'll rest up. There you go. Oh, look, it got rid of our blackface, too. Good. Uh, these guys gonna tussle with me right away? No, they're not. It seems that they're currently blissfully unaware of my presence. Not for long, though. Wrong guy. But, you know what? I'll accept it. Wait, we only get 34? Did I miss this? Can I? Whoa! Holy shit! I just... Damn! Uh... <laughs> That's incredible! Mibu Balloon of Wealth. Light Coin Purse. I just kind of... I didn't even guess. I was like... I don't know. Um, I saw like... What compelled me to do that? Because I thought I saw marks, maybe? Or... I... <laughs> I just randomly thought that... Hey, wouldn't it be cool if that was a uh, sliding or hidden wall or something? And it was! Jeez! Wow, I lucked out there. Divine Confetti, thank you. Okay. Another painting with that. Right, I didn't think so. I think it, I think I would think that it's only uh, wooden walls that we can do that on. Great. Hmm. Now it's got me thinking if maybe I've missed anything else. All right. Well, open chest. I think this is the first time you've ever encountered a chest. Ah, oh, guys, we fucking got four prayer beads. Beads. We did it. Oh, we did it. Wait, is there something above? Huh. Oh no, that's not it. Hmm. I guess we could... Oh yeah, you know what? We can actually slightly see something behind it. 
Wow, damn. My intuition was spot on. Holy shit. All right, well, let's enhance my physical attributes. Uh, do I have a choice between... First, prayer necklace. Loose prayer beads strung together in offering to a sculptor's idol. Increases maximum vitality and posture. A prayer bead necklace befits the strong. The ferocity of Ashina's army is renowned throughout the nation. Its generals are especially talented. Every one of them accomplished in the Ashina sword style. Ah, oh, joyous day. Maximum vitality and posture have increased. Band fucking tastic. That's awesome. Although our attack power appears to be the same still, so. Hmm. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. In between episodes, I'll do a little bit of farming and uh, I'll skill up the, um, the medicinal uh, stuff and then uh, we'll come back and then we'll have enough uh, to level that up, I think, if that makes any sense. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!